Got a Plenty. This song is written out of a tragedy with a major triumph. Um, you know, they say to get the testimony, you got to go through the test. And yes, I did. <laughs> I definitely was tested in my musical uh, career. I definitely had to go through a test, I guess, you know, to see what I was made of. I don't know. The Lord told me to go to Branson and pursue, you know, my dreams and everything. I didn't even know exactly what those were. I was just, you know, um, working on songwriting and I wanted to get my original music out there. It was singing in restaurants. Um, I had my own show called Janice and Me. Um, you know, I had a little bit of savings put away to afford it. It's very expensive to do stuff like this. Then an opportunity came up to join another theater and I'm um, seeing my stuff and sing some, you know, other songs of women of country and blues. So it was awesome. Satan, he's pretty slick, right? He comes in the back door, the side door, above you. <laughs> he comes right at you. Sometimes he's right in your face. And you just got to keep your armor on. You got to be ready. You got to be ready in all times. And I thank the Lord today that I was ready. He had already prepared me, you know, I'm a dreamer, I have a lot of dreams, and I had had a dream of something happening, and boy, when it happened, I was like, whoa, I'm leaving. <laughs> like, all somebody had to do was say a couple of words, and I knew I was leaving. But I tried to hang in there, because we had... Just Satan came in with something that um, this event that wanted to take place next door to our theater, and it, I, I just felt like it was going to affect us in a negative way. And it's contrary to the Word of God, everything about it was. And when I voiced my opinion, they didn't like it. And it really, I guess you could call it my opinion, but in reality, you could pick up the Word of God and you could read it for yourself that it was not even my opinion, but it was it was God's word saying it. And I was just like, we really got to reconsider. We got to really think about this, what we're doing. And um, this is not why I came here. So, and I felt very alone because nobody stood beside me. Nobody followed, nobody, I didn't even ask anybody, but I ended up leaving. God just shut the door. They had me go. And for the next year, I had to deal with the mental part of it. But in the meantime, after leaving, one week later I was asked to open for <clears throat> Lee Greenwood. And then a week after that, I would um, get the opportunity to also co-host a radio show that live streamed, you know, through the internet, right? We called it Branson Gospel Radio, called it Joplin and Joe. We were like interviewing, um, it was like Southern Gospel musicians and stuff and just live music in the Lord. I continued on with that, calling it the original show when I took it more personal with people. And now I'm doing what I do now, calling it Glimpse of God. Um, so you just don't know. You just don't know what God is going to have you do. A, a way, a decision, in one decision, how it's going to impact your life, your future. I, who would have known back then if I wouldn't have taken a stand at that moment for myself? Now, do I, am I upset like with people for not following or, or stepping aside at the same time? I, I'm not upset with them. I'm friends with them still, but I didn't. I, I understand their position in thinking that that's their livelihood, getting paid. But I, I, I was also doing the same thing. It was my livelihood. I was getting paid to work there as well. But I also knew there were many other jobs out there. And we can't forget when we are standing for God, when we are standing for what His Word tells us, that what's on the other side of this little hiccup in the road, this wall that you're coming up against, what's on the other side is a blessing, not a curse. If it is the wall the Lord is putting up, on the other side is the blessing. But you have, you've got to crawl over. Don't retreat. You know, you've got to go. You've got to jump over it and say, okay, Lord, okay. And not everybody's going to jump over that wall with you. A lot of people are going to retreat and they're just going to stay back in this prison. 
they're just going to stay back and accept it and just say, you know, well, that's for you. That's not for me. I don't have the same convictions as you. And you know what? You're right. So I'm going to, I've got to go on. I've got to go on. Got, and I'm, that's what happened. So <laughs> I was pretty, you know, I was pretty, uh, firm with my, my stand and here I am today though, talking about it. I know I have forgiven people that have hurt me. Yes. Yes. I have forgiven, but I can't forget the trial, the aftermath, the before the math. <laughs> I, I can't, I don't forget all of it because, um, I saw what God did whenever I was faced with that. I saw what he did when I didn't retreat. He had already warned me. Thank you, Lord, that you warned me. Not everybody gets a warning. Not everybody can interpret their dreams. Not everybody can interpret a word that they're hearing. And well, we've got to pray for discernment every day. You need to pray the armor of God upon yourself too. And I, I want to show you really quick um, in Philippians verse 12, Paul was dealing with um, something in his life as well. And so he says this, and I just thought this was really cool <clears throat> to read this because of the song called God of Plenty. He said, I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. And then verse 19 says, And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen, Christ Jesus. That is the key. That is the key. That is the mediator to get to the Father is Christ Jesus. We must believe in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our pathway to eternal salvation. He died that we would receive it. Today, sunshine on my face, got a doggy on a leash. Looking down the asphalt road, stop sign says don't go. Lord knows I need direction. I should be on an all time high, but I'm not. I don't know why. I cried, Lord, fill me up. Give me your peace when I'm weary. Give me your love. When I'm weak, give me your strength to carry on. When I'm in need, it's a big old world, but it's small to you. When I'm just one of many, but I know you're a great big God, a God of plenty. Think about times gone by, right here, right now. What the future holds Try to put away hurtful things Holding on to grateful moments And hoping for the best I should be on an all-time high But I'm not, I don't know why I cry, Lord, fill me up Give me your peace when I'm weary Give me your love when I'm weak Give me your strength to carry on When I'm in need it's a big old world, but it's small to you, but I'm just one of many. But I know you're a great big God, a God of plenty. I'm thankful I can talk to you, grateful I walk with you. Happy you're by my side, cause I can't imagine anyone who knows me better. Who truly knows my heart So give me your peace when I'm weary Give me your love when I'm weak Give me your strength to carry on When I'm in need 
It's a big old world, but it's small to you, and I'm just one of many. And I know you're a great big God. I know you're a great big God.